Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show, trying to make sense of this crazy Arizona market and why is it taking homes so long to sell in Arizona? Well, it's taking longer because there aren't as many buyers. It's kind of obvious, right? Is this video the well, duh, Rick? Well, I'm going to show you some areas uh, where it's not taking that long, and then I'm going to show you areas where it is and why it's taking you longer and things that you can do to mitigate the time on market. Now, the first thing I like to look at here is Crawford Market Index, which is a proprietary supply and demand measurement by the Crawford Report, shows Chandler at 194. They're leading the pack. Shows Buckeye at 62. Anything over 110 is a seller's market. Anything below 110 is a balanced or buyer's market. Buckeye is clearly in a buyer's market. But here are some numbers here that we look at called days on market. You can see here the days on market is 64. So let me explain what that means. Inconceivable. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. This is the number of days that the house has been listed before it's closed. So let's say you list it. That is, of course, day one. That's the day you put it on the MLS and you get an offer in five days. Well, it takes about 30 days to 40 days for it to close because you've got the inspection period, you're getting the financing, you've got the appraisal period. Um, so you're going to add another 30 to 40 days to that. So you've got your five days in, you get a contract, you went out 30 days, your days on market are now 35. 64 on average means that you probably took two weeks to get a contract. So 14 days. And then you went another 30 to 40 days out. So 40 plus 14 is 54 days on market. So 64 is really not that bad. If you look in areas like at the top of the Cromford Market Index, like Chandler, their days on market are 42. Now, 42, that means on average, you're probably getting an offer within a week. And if you aren't, something's wrong. And I'm going to show you what could be wrong and why your house is sitting on the market besides price. Buckeye, you're having a harder time. Your days on market are 72.2. And that's because... There's more supply out there and it takes longer for homes to move. Now, there are things that you can do to improve the presence and the presentation of your house when you're listing it. Don't cut corners when it comes to photography. Please don't use phones, phone pictures, cell phone pictures. I don't care how good your new iPhone 25 is. They haven't got up there yet, right? We're only iPhone 12, 14. I don't know. I can't keep track. But don't use that. They probably look great but they don't look amazing. And people scroll through looking at thumbnails of your house, the very first one, and they call the realtor and go, I want to see this. If the first picture doesn't draw them in, it's the same thing with YouTube, right? You're probably watching this video going, well, that thumbnail looks like an interesting topic. Let me take a look at it. Home selling is the same thing. Oh, that picture looks very intriguing. Let me go inside. So that picture has to say, wow, it has to pop. I don't mean super wide angle crop saturate the living daylights out of it. Make sure your realtor is an expert in Photoshop. I mean, decent, eye appealing, good resolution photos. And I'm sorry, folks, this is not one of them. This is on the MLS. It's been on the market 110 days. It says another price reduction, $10,000. That's the profile picture. Doesn't get any better from here. And I didn't put the address up on purpose, although they do want you to see it. I don't understand photos like this. I've seen them in condos. 510. Okay. You have that in the description anyway. And we have a door and the door's got a security guard and, gets, and it opens and there's another door behind it. That's your appealing picture. Those are the first four pictures you see. I don't know if I want to go in anymore. There's, I doubt it's going to get better once I open the door and no, it doesn't. This is what you're seeing, folks. You're seeing dark, dingy photographs of a home that's probably in pretty decent shape in a nice area. But there's just nothing appealing about this. It doesn't get any better. The kitchen, take the stuff off the refrigerator. Take the magnets off. Get rid of the clothes. Put all this stuff away. Make it look nice. I get it. But you're only doing that for a day, right? You're only taking the clutter and just kind of putting it somewhere for the day. But having your kitchen look like that um, when, you're, when you're listing your home just doesn't do anything. Also, Get the stuff off the walls. I mean, you may look, you've already made a decision you're going to move, right? So start cleansing and start downsizing a little bit, especially personal photographs. People don't like seeing pictures of your family members on the wall 
it just makes them feel like they're invading your space. There's another door. Um, so I'm beating this one up pretty bad, aren't I? But it deserves it. It's just terrible, terrible presentation of a house that's a half a million dollars. Explain this one to me. I can see example after example of houses like that. I'll show you another one here. This is the first presentation. There's the second. There's the kitchen. Guess what? There's just cell phones. How can I tell? Well, it's not very wide angle. I can't see really how big the photos are, how big the area is. And you can see that they're out of focus. Very fuzzy. Nothing appealing here. The house is empty. It's not staged. You can actually take software and stage furniture in the house. You can show a picture of the living room with nothing in it. Click again. There's the furniture. These are things that make your house stand out. I also suggest people put in the room dimensions. There's software for that. I like to use Red Hog, Me Red Hog Media when I list a house. And they have one of those 360 cameras that they use for, you know, for the virtual walkthrough. But the virtual walkthrough is not very popular anyway. People don't like doing that. Um, you know, the things like uh, Matterport, they don't, that's the least clicked part of a listing now, believe it or not. But the most popular thing that people request is the floor plan. Will my couch fit in this living room? Will my bed fit in this bedroom? I see the picture of bedroom number two. How big is it? So make sure you get your agent to put that in there. Now, the other thing is price. The big thing is price. How are you pricing? Did you pick the realtor because the realtor said you could get more for it than the other realtor said? Or did you pick the agent because he said, here's how I'm going to market it. Here's how I'm going to present it. Here's examples of the photos that I use. Here's the photographer that I use. Here's how I'm going to present the home to make sure it stands out. And the very first picture that you see on the MLS will be a shiny new photo of the front of your home. And not necessarily just the backyard swimming pool next to power lines. That doesn't draw me in. Now, price. We can debate what's it good price. What's a bad price? I saw that one. It said another price reduction, $10,000. Well, guess what? You've been on the market 110 days. Nobody was going to offer you that price anyway. So you better come down 10. You might want to come down 30 because you're not going to get this price reduction you just had. If you were 510 and now you're 500, all people look at is days on market and they go, well, it's been on there over 100 days. I'm not offering them that. Or they're going to ask for a lot of concessions. So you've got to price correctly early. And by correctly, here's one of my pet peeves. $499,900. Why? I get it. You're not $500,000. What if somebody's searching for a house and they want to find houses that are available in your neighborhood between $500,000 and $550,000? Will they see yours? Why? Because of $100. You price it at $499,900. It will not show up in any searches between $500,000 and $550,000. It'll show up if somebody's searching between 450 and 550. But that little gap, how people search, you screwed yourself out of a lot of viewings because of 100 bucks. The ones that are really bad are the ones that you see that are 499, 999. Now you popped yourself out of a bracket because of a dollar. Be smart about your pricing. If you're not going to go to 500,000, then don't don't bother with the 990 stuff. That that just there's no sense in it. Maybe it made sense when you're selling cars a while back, but it just doesn't make sense to do that kind of pricing now. And so being smart about your pricing is critical because remember, people scroll through thumbnails on the MLS and on Zillow, just like you did before you watched this video. There was something about the thumbnail that said, mm, that's interesting. I think I'll click on that and watch that video. That's the way YouTube works. Netflix spends millions of dollars trying to find a thumbnail that attracts you as a viewer so that they get you to click on that movie. So they spend millions of dollars trying to make that as appealing and eye-catching as you can, yet people take shortcuts when it comes to presenting their house. I don't recommend that. I recommend that the lawn be manicured, that everything look great. When they open up the back door, it's like, oh, man, you know, you don't want a bunch of dog poop back there and toys floating around. And I already showed you the kitchen and the bathrooms. Take the time to clean that stuff up. Look your best. It's a tight market. But I've showed you in areas like Chandler and Gilbert and Paradise Valley, homes are moving. Some of them are going under contract in five days. Don't let the doom and gloom of what some of your neighbors are telling you be, I don't know what I want to say, not, not true. Your neighbors don't know as much as they think they do. So make sure you do your research. Make sure you're priced right. Hire the right photographer. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, rick, rickhelps.com. Take care.